I have three words for y'all. November Starlit Corner. Or I guess it could be Large Subscription Box or Indie Wax Haul. Let's get going. I am obviously in a delirious mood. Um, <laughs> I hope I don't look too crazy or tired. I just sneezed like four times right in a row right before I came in here um, to film. So yeah, I hope that's not like evident in my face. But even if it is, you know, y'all are used to me. So here we go. This month's theme is Scorpio and it says endearing, careful, brilliant. This is the large subscription box that I get every single month from the Starlit Corner. She ships out of Florida and she does ship um, priority mail so it always gets to me in about two days and yeah, she always writes a little note. She says this is the start of her astrology series. And then she's got my invoice included here as well. The large set is $41 plus I pay $9 in shipping. I had mentioned that I might try to do the smaller set one month just to kind of show you the differences between the two. The smaller set is more of like a sampler set. And I think it's $19 a month plus the shipping so I think it comes out to be like I don't know 27 or 28 dollars a month maybe um, but this is the large one so as always we have some beautiful tissue paper here and let's see what we have I'm just gonna set it down right here so I've got my hands free all right right away I see this individually wrapped Everything always comes really well protected. Um, this is some really pretty floral um, tissue paper. That's really pretty. And then we have some bubble wrap as well. So I think, whoops, I don't know if y'all can hear that. My kitchen is on the other side of this, uh, my office wall. And I can hear that my husband just came in and he's rattling dishes around. So hopefully you cannot hear that scratching on the cabinets like I can. Um, but if so, that's what it is. All right, so this one is one of her teacups, which I adore. I just love the way that she does these. It is literally an entire teacup filled with wax. So the outside is a wax uh, mold that she uses to, to mold a teacup, and then she fills it with another um, wax as well. So this one is called black cherry chai all right let's see i do like the smell of chai although i'm not a fan of drinking chai tea oh this smells really good it has that tea scent to it from the chai but then to me it smells like cherry coke because it's black cherry um yeah, that's really nice. When I first opened this, um, not when I first opened it, but like when I took the um, the priority mail envelope off of the outside of it, I could smell like fruity and fresh. Those were the two kind of scent notes that hit me. I couldn't tell exactly what I was smelling, but I just knew that it smelled really good. I really like that a lot. Um, I think it will be good for, you know, when you want like a, a nice cozy warm scent, but something that's not going to be too heavy. That black cherry kind of, um, you know, brings it, uh, brightens it up a little bit. All right, next we have cherry birthday cookie cake. So this is a, uh, almost looks like a chocolate bar, like a candy bar, and it says happy birthday on it. So this one is cherry birthday cookie cake. Oh, have you ever had one of those like giant chocolate chip cookies that they write in icing? You know, they say like happy birthday or happy mother's day or whatever. I've never gotten one for my own birthday, but that's really good. This is um, strong cherry and it's not like a super sweet cherry. It's 
a little bit more of like an authentic cherry scent um and then birthday cookie cake yeah for sure this is definitely very strong bakery um but more of an authentic cherry not really that artificial like super super sweet so that's really nice okay this next one is called homebody and it is luxury cashmere vanilla and cinnamon sugar holy cow that sounds amazing and it's in this little like I don't even know what you would call it, like a cottage almost. All right, I, I try not to take them all out because I always say, I'm not gonna take everyone out and then I end up taking everyone out. But this one, you really have to see it to, you know, to get the full benefit of it. So there's little, you know, you can see like the little shingles and the chimney in it and, oh. This is so nice. This has gotta be that cashmere, right? Yeah, luxury cashmere. It just is like, it smells very sophisticated, like um, warm, but not too warm. Not like clovey or spicy. It smells like fresh and cozy um, and expensive. So it's luxury cashmere, vanilla, and cinnamon sugar. The thing about these is like, I hate to break them up. Now this scent is so beautiful. I'm definitely going to chop this up and put it in the warmer. Um, but I love the, I just love the, the shape of it. It just looks so cute. You know, you can almost like set it on your mantle and use it to decorate for <laughs> Christmas or something. Cause that's kind of what it looks like. It looks like a snow covered little cottage or something. Um, yeah, that one I'm excited about. I have family coming in town in a couple weeks. I feel like that would be a good one to warm when, you know, when you have people around because it's not offensive. You know, some people don't like florals or they don't like whatever, you know, so I feel like that would be a nice scent for if you don't really know people's preferences. Um, that would be a good one to warm. Okay, the next one is called Night Owl and it's Blackberry Fizz and Mountain Dew Type. So this is, oh, this is awesome. This smells, yeah, Blackberry Fizz, exactly. And Mountain Dew Type, yeah. That's exactly what this smells like. You can smell that, like, that fizzy pop. Fizzy pop, again, very polarizing. I love it. Some people do not but I really, really love it. And then I, if you hadn't told me it was Mountain Dew, I wouldn't know that, but I'm picking up on it now. Adorable little, uh, it's called Blackberry Fizz. I guess that's a blackberry colored, um, owl. <laughs> yeah. I really, really like that one as well. Ooh, these are all so such good scents. A lot of, um, a lot of fruity, but some, you know, more, um, that just like cozy, warm scent with the cashmere. Okay. This one is called Made of Water and it's Ocean Air, Seaside Serenity, Rain, Beechwood, Vetiver, Coconut Soleil, Sea Salt, and Surf. Okay. So there's a ton of notes in here. Um... We're gonna see what this one smells like. I have a feeling this is gonna be like very fresh. Um, it's kind of that, what do they call that? A, not a grungy, a grubby, a grubby heart, I think is what they call that. I can't remember exactly, but anyway. Um, doesn't matter, it matters what it smells like, right? Oh, that's really interesting. Ocean air, seaside serenity, rain, beechwood, vetiver. Coconut Soleil, Sea Salt, and Surf. I was expecting it to be more, um, it's good. It's, uh, it's, it's very soft, almost like, um, almost powdery, like a fabric softener. I was expecting more of like the saltiness, you know, like salty sea air or something like that. But this is definitely more laundry. 
and it's nice. It just, when I read the description, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it's nice. I do like it. Um, that will be a nice one. Maybe I'll hang on to this one for the spring, kind of, you know, when you're like coming out of the cold and starting to warm up a little bit and you're not really quite sure what season it is because it's cold and then it's hot and then it's cold. <laughs> At least that's the way it is in Texas anyways. Okay. I need like coffee beans to clear my <laughs> nasal passages and my sinuses and everything. Okay, this one is called Hidden Mystery and it's Sweet Amber, Strawberry Musk, Ylang Ylang, Woodland Snow, Birch, and Black Pepper. And this is another really, really cute one. I just saw where she had put this on. Um, I think maybe she did like a what does she call it? Like work in progress Wednesday or something like that. I can't remember, but I saw where she had posted this a couple weeks back. Um, all right, let's try this one out. Oh, I like that. Okay. I smell the sweet amber. It's definitely musky. So this is, um, I'm almost getting like a I'm maybe it's the ylang ylang. I'm almost getting a patchouli note, but not that like I call it dirty hippie because <laughs> that's what it smells like to me. It smells like someone who needs a bath. But this is just that like woodsy musky, um, not gross like patchouli can sometimes be. It's got to be that ylang ylang, right? Or maybe it's the musk. I'm not sure, but I really, really like that. Um, it's strong. It's like, it's definitely masculine, uh, which I think is awesome because it's pink and black. So of course that would be masculine, right? Um, it's definitely masculine, but it's really unusual. And I, I think I like it a lot. Okay, this last one, yeah, um, the last one here is called Obsidian, and this is Stone, Savage, or maybe it's Savage. Um, isn't that with the, what's the Johnny Depp cologne that he, isn't it called like Savage or something? Uh, amber, Ode, Smoked Vanilla, and Black Opium. Okay, those all sound amazing. Let's see. I like this a lot. It's um another masculine one. I can smell the ode and the amber. I think that smoked vanilla is what's get making it like not not quite so dark. Um it's like it's uh, not sweet, but it's not so heavy. That's, oh my God, that's the word I'm looking for. It's not heavy. Vanilla and black opium. I think I do smell black opium in here. There's definitely a cologne note. So I don't know if it's that Savage or however you say that, um, or if it's the black opium. It's really nice. Another masculine one, but again, I think that's really nice to have particularly um, you know, in mixed company, or if you don't really know um, what somebody's going to like, but you want to have a pleasant, you know, fragrance in your home when you have company. Uh, I like to have a pleasant fragrance in my home when I have company anyway. And uh, so, like I said, I, I think there's a couple of these that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be warming when my family's in town later this month. I am really excited about this box. I wasn't sure what to expect because I am not a Scorpio and I don't think that I know anyone who's a Scorpio. Um, so I wasn't really sure like what the correlation there would be, but I am pleasantly surprised. There's some nice, woodsy notes, some clean, like fresh scents. Um, this one, hands down my favorite, that luxury cashmere in there. Holy cow, loved it. 
Um, but then we had a little bit of fruity in there too. Lots of, you know, real cherry heavy. Um, so I am very pleased with this box. If you want to check out uh, the Starlit Corner or Ashley, um, see what she has coming up. She does, uh, besides just the subscription boxes in the two sizes every month, she also has some ready to ship sales that she does periodically. And then um, I think she, I think she's doing a Christmas advent, but I'm not sure if that's still open or not. So just to be sure, I will leave her um, the link to her Facebook group down below. That's where you can check out all the happenings. You can see those videos that I was talking about where she does like her progress uh, or her process videos where she's pouring the wax and then unmolding it and everything. Those are always super cute um, and fun to, you know, kind of watch it go from hot wax to what we end up with in our box. So uh, check her out. Tell her that I sent her, sent you and show her some love. And my links are all down below. Uh, if you want to show me some love, I've got to buy me a coffee link down there. I have my uh, Instagram, my Goodreads, where you can see everything that I'm reading pretty much in real time, uh, and then my Book of the Month referral link as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you very soon, and until I do, have a great day. Bye.